landlords extremely wealthy, Gulag Basharzai was one of them, and so they had an incentive to continue the war, and they had an incentive to continue producing the terrorists. This is a governor who took over. Two hours east of Kandahar, there was this small I guess village Kandahar. called Bande Timor. He got all the contracts from turning the airport into a military base. Pomegranate groves and lush poppy fields. So I guess they're saying once you got some people this was opium country. And Haji worked on both sides. In the 80s was a respected elder in this village. He was just a uh, like a tribal leader, a landowner, he had a big family. And he's an influential figure. In early 2002, he was elected to a council of elders formed by the new president Hamid Karzai. He went around in the first few months of 2002 and collected weapons from retired Taliban members and delivered these weapons to Gulag Shirzai, the governor of, of Kandahar. So he was completely supporting the U.S. mission. But as Anand writes about in his book, there was one problem. The problem was that he was involved in the drug trade, as was Gulag Shirzai, the U.S. ally. And so Shirzai saw this as an opportunity to get rid of a rival in, in, in the trade. And so he told the Americans that this guy was uh, Taliban. Terrorism and drug dealing. The area didn't waste any time in responding. One night in May 2002, while he was sleeping, his door was kicked down and men fluttered into the house with uh, torchlights and with guns. And you can imagine the women started screaming. It was a group of about 150 soldiers alongside coalition special forces. Sources tell Anand they shot Haji Burgat Khan, arrested all the men in the village, about 55 of them, and took them to the Kandahar airfield, which was also a detention center filled with hundreds of suspected Taliban men. He was also saying that by this time the Taliban had stopped fighting. He was a frail man and he died en route. To the 80-year-old man was severely beaten and died. His son was tortured so badly that he became a paraplegic. The Pentagon described it as a raid on a Taliban compound. At a press conference, Rumsfeld said that none of those arrested were high-level members of the Taliban. Well, I would call him a senior level, but below the senior level. The U.S. was just listening to whatever their allies, people like Shorzai, were saying. So what ended up happening is that thousands of people who were innocent ended up getting arrested, sent to Kandahar airfield. The people who simply were the victim of a local rivalry. The For Afghans who lived in this part of the country, the raid that killed Haji Burgat Khan was a turning point. There was a huge protest in the soccer field in Kandahar, where for the first time you heard anti-American chants by people know, who had six months prior welcomed the US. authorities are abusing After their power or killing of innocent people, hunger, it creates protests. people in Bande Timor had initially welcomed the Americans, but Sherzai's impunity and the rise of night raids and torture made them feel like they didn't have a place in this new American order. And over the next few years, they turned to the Taliban. Should have just stopped village, killing people and paid people and instead. Just build the country. Actually the do some nation building. Nation building is not the problem. Nation building is the only thing you need to do. I went to village again in 2010 and nobody was living there because it had been bombed to smithereens. It's, it's very eerie if you, if you drive through there today. You will see, it will look like the ruins of an ancient civilization.